So what we're going to do is a complete hands-on. We're going to do a really great little project that you'll be able to take home with you. Um, my assistant Debbie, she'll be walking around on that side of the room and if you have any questions or you're not sure if you're touching the right thing, just ask and we'll come around and help you. We want to make sure that you have an enjoyable, fun experience making this project. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Janome history, just in case you didn't know. Does anybody have a Janome machine already? Yay! Oh, we have one who doesn't, so that's good. <laughs> Janome's been around for over a hundred years, so it's, it is one of the oldest sewing machine companies. And we'd like to say that the Memorycraft 11,000 is a hundred years in the making. Every generation of machine that Janome creates adds to the next generation. The technology that we learn from one goes into the next one. In the 1990s, Janome created the Memorycraft 8000. Does anybody, has anybody had that? Oh, look at that. So we have some people who know about the old technology. Janome was the first to create the home embroidery machine, an all-in-one sewing machine and embroidery. And the technology that they learned from that, Janome started making desktop robots. So the t technology in these robots have now put them, it's put into this sewing machine. The robotic arm is a rolling linear motion guide and it helps to move the embroidery hoop with the best precision or the most precision that we've ever had in our embroidery. So going through this machine, we we'll hope you'll hear all the little robotic sounds that I love to hear and, and you'll really appreciate the quality that goes into this machine. So what I'd like everybody to do is turn it on. It's on the right hand side of the machine near the plug if you'd like to reach around and flick that black button. And it'll all fire up on you. You'll hear all the little cool sounds all beginning. There we go. And the first thing you'll notice is that great big eye height screen. This is the largest screen on the market. It's over seven and a half inches diagonally from corner to corner. And it has over 65,000 colors. And what that means, it's going to give you the most um, clear description of your um, clear view of your designs and your stitches and it even has a screensaver so you can import your own pictures into the machine and look at your own images. As I said it is an eye height screen and what that means is you can move it. So if everybody looks under the screen you'll see a green button with arrows. Press the up arrow Yep, and you can press on that button until you get the screen to your height. So no more neck straining trying to look at the screen so you can sew for hours and hours and hours. Isn't that great? So now what that's done is it's opened up over nine and a half inches of space to the right of the needle. So you can get really large projects in there, all your large quilts, coats, drapery, and what that does for embroidery is it gives us the largest embroidery available. A big square hoop goes in there. With all that extra space, we need lots of lights. So if you look underneath, in the reflection of the bed of the machine, you can see the reflection of the lights. So you'll see two on either side of the needle. There's four in the middle and there's two on the outer um, inside edge. So they're LED lights, they're nice clear white lights. You can sew in the dark even. We had one dealer shut the lights off in the room and it's amazing how bright it is. They don't get hot, so you don't have to worry about your hands burning when you're putting your fabric underneath there or burning your, uh, burning your fabrics. And they last for? Oh, 15,000 sewing hours the lights last. Mm -hmm. People say, oh, you know, they're gonna burn out next week kind of thing. 15,000 sewing hours, that's eight hours a day, five days a week for 15 years. <laughs> so the lights, the lights will last. So yeah, so you don't have to worry about them burning out any time quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the buttons on the front of your machine, the backlit buttons that are in green. So the very first one there with the two arrows pointing up and down, this is your needle up down. And what I'd like everybody to do is touch that button and you'll see your needle go down. Touch the button again. Okay. What this is great for is bringing your needle, uh, your bobbin thread up for if you need to lower your needle to turn corners when you're pivoting. No longer do you have to reach around to turn the hand wheel. That wastes time. We don't have as much time to sew, so a lot of the features that, that we talk about today are about saving you time so that you can get to the task at hand. We, we need to get to our projects. We don't have to want to be fiddling and everything for that. To the um, right of that is your needle threader. Now some of you, your needles are threaded. If you can just pull the threads out of your needle, is your threaded there? Just pull your thread out of your needle threader, out of the needle, okay, just to make sure. If everybody can push that needle threader button, so it looks like a needle with a thread going through, and you'll see a little mechanism lower itself down into the eye of the needle. And if you look on your screen, you'll see that it's telling you exactly what to do. 
So if you can try and figure it out, sometimes it helps to lower the presser foot while you're um, threading the needle. Did you get it, Doreen? Yes. Yay! Everybody's good? Yeah. Everybody's good? good. Okay. Everybody got it? Yay! So now you don't have to be able to see the eye of the needle anymore. You don't have to bite that thread and try and get it through the eye of the needle. All right. So you're good, Darla. Almost. That's okay. Okay, so when you're pulling it around through here, okay, now push. Perfect. Perfect. Now, if you can resist pulling on that tail, that little um, blade that's on the, th on the thread cutter at the side leaves enough of a length of a tail so that when you um, go to start sewing, there's enough thread for it to catch. Most people want to pull that amount of thread, but Janome has made sure that there's enough thread on that tail to catch so you're not wasting thread. Mm -hmm. Time you or We're used to pulling the long tail and holding it, and mm -hmm. this one gives you just the right tail and holds it. At yeah, you don't, and you don't have to. And you'll notice there's no bobbin thread popping up through the hole because, the, because it cuts and it leaves enough thread there as well. So we're going to talk about that button. Mm -hmm. Okay, to the right of that, you've got your bobbin winder. If everybody can lower their screen again, okay, and you're looking at the top of your machine, and you'll notice mm -hmm. that this is, this is your bobbin winder here. So you would be pushing that to the left, okay, and then pushing your bobbin winder button. Go ahead, everybody can push it. You don't have thread there or anything, but you, you get the idea. Marn is the only one who's got thread there. So it will stop when the bobbin is wound, but it's an independent bobbin winding motor. So you can wind thread while your machine is embroidering or sewing. So there's no downtime. You've got to, to stop and, and wind your bobbin. And then to the, just to the back of that, to the right, there's a little thread cutter. So after your bobbin's finished winding, you can um, hook that on there and just cut your bobbin. Again, little time efficient things. And there is a thread path printed on the top of the machine to show you how to thread it. Okay. And you'll notice there's no, no stitch chart anymore to show you the stitches. And we're going to get to that. That's on screen. Okay. So again, looking at those um, buttons backlit in green. The um, button that looks like a bullseye, the little circle with the dot, this is your auto lock. So at the end of your sewing, you can touch that auto lock and it'll do four locking stitches and stop. Nice time saving feature. And then to the right of that is a pair of scissors. So we got built in th thread cutter. Again, it saves you time, is efficient, it doesn't waste thread. You hit that thread cutter and pull your fabric out and away you go. So it's great if you're working on a big, huge quilt and you don't have to drag your quilt out to try and get to that bottom thread. So you're not wasting thread. And people do notice. You wouldn't think it's much. But when you go to a class and you're using that thread cutter, everybody wants to know, what is it that she's doing? And she doesn't have that big pile of thread there because she's, she's been able to use her thread cutter.